uncertainty could affect neighbors. Bangladesh FM on CAA. NRC amid widespread protests against citizenship. Amendment. Act. CAA. And the proposed National Register of Citizens. NRC. Bangladesh Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momin said that uncertainty in India may affect its neighbors. The CAA and the NRC are internal issues of India, he said on Sunday. We are the number one friend of India, he added. He added Ethiopia becomes 11th African nation to have a satellite in space. Ethiopia launched its first ever satellite into space successfully on Friday, making it the 11th African country to have a satellite in space. The satellite was designed by Chinese and Ethiopian engineers and the Chinese government paid about $6 million of the more than $7 million manufacturing costs. The satellite will be used for weather forecast and crop monitoring. As per officials, official Muslim nations consider gold, barter trade to beat future sanctions Iran, Malaysia, Turkey and Qatar are considering trading among themselves in gold and through a barter system to protect their economies against potential future sanctions, Malaysian PM Mahathir Mohamad said. At the end of an Islamic summit in Malaysia, Mahathir said it was important for Muslim countries to be self-reliant. He praised Iran and Qatar for withstanding economic embargoes. Factually inaccurate. India on Malaysian PM's remark on CAA after Malaysian PM Mahathir Mohamad criticized citizenship. Amendment. Act on sidelines of the Kuala Lumpur summit. India said. Mohammed's comment was factually inaccurate. Malaysia should refrain from commenting on India's internal developments, especially without a right understanding of the facts, the External Affairs Ministry added. Mohammed had said, People are dying because of this law. Pak sentences university professor to death for alleged anti Islamic FB posts a Pakistani court on. Saturday convicted a 33-year-old university professor of blasphemy, sentencing him to death for allegedly spreading anti-Islamic ideas on Facebook. The charges against Junaid Hafiz, who was arrested in March 2013, included liking an allegedly blasphemous Facebook page. His lawyer said the decision was unfortunate, adding, We will appeal against this verdict.